So usually I do my what's in my bag videos before my trip, but it kind of occurs to me that if you do it after the trip, you know if you made good decisions. So, and then you can show off some pictures too. Okay, so this is our what's in our bag video from our Norway trip. And what's I, in your bag, I, I made I made a risky decision. So I usually pack up a body and probably three lenses. And this time I said, I'm not hiking in the fjords with three lenses. I'm a tiny woman that experiences pain easily. I took a 24 to 70, two eight, and that's it. An extra battery, a battery charger, and a D850, and my new neck pillow. And that's it. And can I tell you, I was so nervous. I kept having anxiety that I wasn't gonna get a shot, and it worked fine because the resolution was so great that I could always crop in if I needed to. And 24 millimeters, sometimes it wasn't wide enough. I was in a few really tight spaces, but I'd say 90% of the time, 24 to 70, had everything I needed. I was so happy with my decision. I feel like I'm living a new life and it's beautiful. What did you do? Did you stitch any panoramas together to go wider? I stitched panoramas to go wider. I did because I'm a woman with ingenuity, okay? I can do what I want. I can make it work. I packed like two. This is my Manfrotto Be Free bag. <laughs> I have a Peak Design clip on here, and on there is my like walking around camera. It was a Sony A7R3 and the Metacon 50 millimeter f095. This is not a good lens, but it's a fun <laughs> lens. I just like using it. I would never use it for anything that I hope to sell, but. I enjoy it for like family vacation, getting snapshots. It has a unique look with you heavy vignetting. Cool, you got some cool portraits of the girls with that. Yeah, and because the A7R three has a stabilized sensor, all my shots are stabilized and I use it for some video clips too and things just turned out really good. And most importantly, I had fun with it. The A7R three has great image quality. It's just all around a good camera. And let me say about the batteries, you went through two and a half batteries in your D850 and on the last day, I had about 10% left on my A7R three. It's also possible that I I think my batteries might be older. Yeah, that's true, but people in our last comparison, they were very concerned that Sony batteries weren't very good, but that's just not my experience in the real world. Like, forget the CIPO, CIPA ratings. Yeah. Real world, it seems to last a really long time. Okay, okay. fine. My fine. big old bag. What's in there, anyway? Can't... Oh, well, you brought the laptop. That's not fair. I would have brought a laptop, but... Yeah, you did use it some. This is a laptop that Intel sent us as part of our partnership and it's been great. I upgraded the drive from 256 gigs to two terabytes because these are 45 megapixel cameras and we fill stuff up pretty fast. Okay, on the insides here, tell them about that. Okay, so this is a travel pillow, right? I've gone through like five of these that I've never used, but this one, it actually works pretty well. I'm gonna blow it up. It goes behind your shoulders like this, and then you tighten the front, and it's the first one I've ever used where your head doesn't actually flop all over. Does it look cool? Heck no. It looks crazy ridiculous. I look like a football player. <laughs> I look like I got into a car accident, and I'm trying to keep my neck from re-breaking. Well, don't forget, it has this thing you can put there. I use it. makes you look even better. Because I ugly sleep on planes. I'll be like, I'll wake up like that. So I just took this, it connects. I put it over my face and I got like five hours of sleep and I did not have a stiff neck for the rest of the trip. So thank you, Duo Pillow. This isn't sponsored. I'm, I just like it. No, and so Tell sent us the laptop. We bought the rest of the stuff and that actually, I, it was the first time I was ever able to sleep on a flight. I had some non-photography stuff like blister What's health that? and sunscreen. Those mosquito are mosquitoes. Repellent. You didn't find any mosquitoes. I need one of these blowers because these mirrorless cameras collect dust like crazy and I still had dust in my shots. This was a godsend. It this is great. a power adapter that also has four USB ports on it and it adapts to like anywhere and I could plug the laptop in and we had two teenage girls who are on their own phone constantly so they really desperately needed a charger. That worked great. Every night they snuggled in bed with us and I was like, that is so cute. They still love us. And then I realized we had all the chargers and I was like, ah. Oh, okay. The charger for my laptop. The Sony 16 to 35 F28 G Master. I did a comparison against Tamron and Nikon and it just blew everything away. It was just incredibly sharp and it was super lightweight. And I awesome. was able to put ND filters on the front, which you can't do with those other big curvy super wides. It's fantastic. The results were super sharp. So that was like plan B for me as far as like the wide landscapes went. 
plan A was to use this 70 to 200 F28 and then stitch panoramas together because, you know, I have this far off dream of having a gallery with like wall sized prints. And yeah. so I really, like, this was a portfolio moment that we had there, and I really wanted to be able to get like epic large prints. So for that oh. reason, I stitched together these massive panoramas. But then I also got backups of this because panoramas can be, like, things can go wrong. You're still going. This is like a clown car. I paired it down some. USB chargers, I packed like four of these because everybody needed them and the girls were always out. The Parrot Anafi drone, for the first time, has displaced our DJI Mavic travel drones and it did really good. You know, people busted on me for saying that the Mavic drones were uh, flaky, but I was there with our friend Erlen and he had his Phantom and his Phantom, the app just kept crashing and so he couldn't use it. Yeah, he ended up using... Well, he ended up using my phone to make it work. Yeah. But my parrot, I flew it several times and just started up and flew reliably. I didn't end up using these, but I traveled with a two times teleconverter that I hoped to use to get wildlife and then some extension tubes in case I wanted some close-up work. That's just the kind of stuff I like to keep in my bag. The controller for the drone. We didn't record video, but I had a couple of lab mics that we didn't use. Of so many cords, it was like you were walking around with a pile of spaghetti. Yeah, you just always need like different charging cords and extra SD cards and stuff. And you know, some portion of that I did end up using in different situations. Oh, this was super important. But in this little pocket here, I have hidden a rain cover for my backpack because my... it rained like constantly. So I didn't have that, but I had a bag from the grocery store and I just put my camera in the plastic bag and then put it in my backpack. You also had the D850, which can handle some rain. Yeah. I mean, my A7R3 got rained on a lot, but I tried to keep it under my jacket. Yeah. So it can handle some amount of rain, but you could get soaked and be okay, and I wouldn't have been okay. I still wasn't comfortable with that because I've ruined cameras before <laughs> in rainstorms. I packed my Yi 4K Plus action camera so that I could just stick it anywhere and record little time lapses. And even though it's not weatherproof, it got completely soaked in the rain and it was just fine. So is this like traveling light for you? Did you feel like you had to use all of this? Yes, I also had a bunch of anxiety about stuff I was leaving behind. Yeah. And so this felt very minimal to me. Mm -hmm. uh, just the three lenses and some teleconverters and it, it turned out to be enough. I did use pretty much everything you see here though at some point. Do you and feel like you I could had. have lived with any of it without some of the stuff? No, I definitely would have died if I was missing any of these things. <laughs> well, the drone was a really good addition. Like I never think to bring a drone, but I feel like you always get really cool shots. So that's something yeah. that if I didn't have you in theory, I'd probably add that but I was pretty much just happy with my setup. Because my thing is, we were going for hikes up mountains. If I had brought all of this stuff, I wouldn't have been able to make it. Oh, you know, I also have to mention that I use my iPhone X a ton, and I think it's a great camera. You yeah. know, the telephoto with the portrait mode works really good, and if I had the 7200 on my camera and I wanted something wide, I would just pull out my phone, and yeah, it's not gonna make the wall size print, but a lot of shots were Instagram shots, and it was good enough. You know what's crazy? I realize I do a lot of test shots with my phone, and then when I realize what I want, I go to my camera. Yeah, because it's, it's just, just easy to pull the out. The screen is bigger. Yeah, I think it's because the screen is bigger, so I can preview approximately what I'm going to see. And so my phone is definitely a must. Not to mention that it was totally vital for navigating, uh, yeah. translating menus and stuff. We definitely could not have lived without our phones. So what do you bring when you travel? Do you tra try to travel as light as possible, like me? Do you try to travel as light as possible, like Tony? What did we forget? What should we have brought? For more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and just come back and see us sometime, you know? We miss you. We miss you. Bye.